Hi all, uh, welcome to Franker channel again. Uh, this episode we're going to uh, solve a problem with the 2008 Toyota Highlander. Uh, these things have a major problem with oil leak and it leaks from the oil cooler lines. Uh, apparently there was a recall on it at one time but uh, they're not covering it any longer so if you run into this problem you, this video might help you. When this uh, oil leak happens you will have this warning sign come up and it will actually start saying that pull over, pull over, turn your engine off and uh, please do so when it's safe pull over and uh, turn the engine off. To access the, the, the lines, the cooler lines you'll have to get this bottom cover off. So it's got 10 millimeter screws and bolts here that you have to take off. So let's go ahead and take these off first. That's the first thing we're gonna do. So it's basically, here's the oil cooler lines. They're going down, okay. So I'll try to get the light on it. So there you can see that swelled up one that still see the oil on it. So these lines, one of these, it's mostly the front one that leaks, okay? So what Toyota has done is they have taken, uh, they have made a, rep, a replacement for part for it. Uh, it's no longer rubber hoses. What they have is they have this right here, okay? Here is a dealer's part number. Okay, you can pause it and look at it. So there is the dealer's part number. So this is what you get with it. You get the gaskets, you get the new uh, cooler lines, which are uh, metal now. So they hopefully won't burst again. So that's what you're replacing. Okay. So this is what we're replacing. We're going to be taking off the three bolts, well, a nut and a, two nuts and a bolt right here. We're going to be taking these three off. And same thing on this side, we're going to be taking uh, let me get my camera on. You're going to be taking these ones off at the back there. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to unclip this, get this uh, wire out of the way just to make it easier. Not that you have to take it off, but if you take this off, it'll make your life a bit easier. Okay. So to get this off, basically you're pressing down on this tab right here, right here. You press down on this tab. Okay hold the other side and then just pull that out. Once this is out, there is another 10 millimeter head bolt right here. You take this bolt off and this piece will be out of the way. Then you can see it better. So now you can see it better. Okay, so there you go. So those are the two hoses that you see and it's held by two nuts and a bolt. Okay, so we're gonna be taking this off this nut, this nut, they're 12 millimeter, and this bolt, same thing on the other side. There are two of them. Okay, there are two that we're gonna be taking off, and there is one right here. And it's, sorry, three, so same deal. There is one right here, one you can see on top, and then one is on the other side. Um, so be patient with it. When you're taking this off, the oil is going to come out, so keep a pan or something underneath it so your garage doesn't get messed up. This bottom nut is probably going to be the hardest one to take off. And what seems to work is if you get a shallow socket with a swivel and a long extension, okay? So once you get that set up, you should be able to take this bottom nut off. So we have our first one off. Same deal with the second one, I'm using the swivel and taking the second one off. Cool. Got the second one off and uh, now we're gonna take the third one off. Okay. Once you take this off, then we're gonna start on the other side. So to get this nut off right here, this one, um, it's pretty hard to put, like you can use a wrench on it, go through this side and use a wrench on it, but it will make your life easier if you take this bracket off. This bracket is held by two um, two bolts. There is one right here and the second one is, it's hard to see but it's up here, right there. Thanks to my partner here helping me out. So there is the second one right there. So if you take these two off, this bracket will come off and you're able to put a socket on that. 
So to remove the, the bracket, it's a, again 12 millimeter head. That's the first bolt that we're going to take off. We have taken the first bolt off the bracket. It actually holds the AC condenser too, uh, or compressor, sorry, not the condenser. Um, the second one, I had to use a 3 8 ratchet for the second one. The half inch was a bit too long, it didn't fit. So 3 8 ratchet with a 12 mil socket to get the second one off. Here are the two bolts that we have taken off the bracket and they hold, as I said, they hold the compressor as well. So now you can see there's much more space. So now we're going to take these three off, okay? So those are the three, two nuts and uh, one bolt. Same thing, 12 millimeter. Okay, so we are, uh, so for this I'm using a 12 millimeter deep socket. Okay, this is the, was the one behind the bracket. Okay, so we take this off. We take this off, same deal, 12 millimeter. And the third one is right here. So we take this one off, okay? Remember, when you take these off, the oil's gonna come out. As I said, the oil's gonna come out. You can see it's pouring out right now. So you should keep a pan underneath it. We have ours. So keep the pan underneath it. Or uh, someone's gonna be mad at your household for messing up the garage. Okay, so here we go. So we're taking this off. You can see the oil is really pouring out now. Okay. So once you get one side off, the other one will slide out. So here's our part. Here are the two parts side by side. So this is upgraded. Okay, it's a metal uh, pipe. Here's the one that came out. So originally at one time, this top one, this is the one that leaked out. And um, we tried to do a Mickey Mouse job, which was we got a hose and put it on. But the problem you see here is you can see how it's swelled up. You can see the difference between here and here. You can see how, how much has it swelled up. And this is going to go again. So if you ever get a hose, just make sure it's an oil hose because if you get a, a coolant hose or a, something to do with the antifreeze, and you put oil through it, it's going to start swelling up. So it's this part is not that much. So it was about $80 Canadian. So it's not that much. If you're going to go through all this, might as well put the right part on. Get the old gaskets off because they do come with the new gaskets. Okay, there is one there and there is another one right. I'm trying to do both things with the camera holding and so there's your second gasket. So make sure you get both gaskets off and uh, install the new ones. Okay, so there is a bit of a problem when you put the the metal uh, pipe back. Just because it doesn't flex, you will have to remove the studs from one side. So we're lucky that one stud over here it just came out. The second one I have to remove because it won't go on. This doesn't flex. So there are two ways to take this off. You can use an inverted Torx that goes on the top here or you can double nut it and take it off. So I'm going to try to show you both ways. So this is our inverted eight millimeter Torx. So it will fit right on top here. Okay, so it will fit right here. You can use that. That's one way to do it. So the second way is put the two nuts on so I have this nut backwards. So the washer side or the bottom is on the top. The other one is, so I'll take this off, you can see. So that, see how that one is on? and then I'm going to put the other one the way it should be. I'm going to tighten these up against each other and then I'm going to use a wrench on the bottom one to take it off. So I have both the nuts locked here. So we go to the bottom one. Okay, you can start taking this stud out. Once it's loose, you can just spin it with your hand. It's not going to be easy, so pardon me if my arm is in front of the camera. So this is if you don't have the Torx, inverted Torx with you. So this is one way to do it, okay? Uh, if you have the inverted Torx, which will, you don't need to put the double nut on, you just use the inverted torque, and this stud will come out. Okay, so we have this off. So basically, this is how it went. I use the Torx right here, or you do the double nut, and get that off. 
Okay, once you have everything off, just uh, get a rag, just clean everything. You don't want any of this muck going in. Okay, clean everything. Put the new gaskets on. Okay. They're both different so you can't screw up here. So put both gaskets on, just make sure they stay there. It's going to be hard to put the other gasket on because we don't have the studs on it. So you'll have to actually hold it. So when you're putting the part back on, the new part on, just put the side where you have the studs still. So this side, I've left the studs on this side. I did that just because the other one of the studs on the other side came off. I would have left uh, the other studs in just to make my life easier, but that's what happened. So I'm going to put this side on because this is where the studs are. So put this side on. Okay, put this side on. And then I'm going to slide the gasket in the other side and put the studs back in. At least put one nut on just so that when you're dealing with the other side, everything doesn't fall off, especially the gasket. At least put one nut on. Don't tighten it up. Just put like a couple threads on just to keep it there. If you can put the second one on, do that too. Okay, so do the second one. So we have our gasket and I have the two studs. So we're going to slide this gasket in here, move the pipe up, and then we're going to start putting the studs back in. Okay. When you have the studs in, when you're tightening up the studs with the ratchet, just make sure you stop when they bottom out. You'll have that, you'll feel that when they bottom out. Just don't keep on twisting it because they're going in aluminum and uh, you strip the threads or worse, crack something or break the, the stud, it's going to be a different ball game. So just stop once the stud bottoms out. Once again, when you're putting the studs back in, you can use that uh, inverted torx or you can do the double nut just to get the studs back in. So now we're going to go ahead and put our third bolt on each side before you start tightening anything up. Otherwise, like if you tighten up the two nuts, you might not be able to get the bolts back in. So just get the bolts started. Okay, so uh, once you have all six, like both nuts here, the bolt, same thing, two nuts here, and the bolt, once you have all these uh, on, uh, the torque specification for this is uh, 16 foot-pounds. So if you have a torque wrench available, that will save you a lot of headache. You won't over tighten it, you won't end up breaking something, so it's 16 foot-pounds. So you just go ahead and tighten all six. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put our bracket back on, the one that we have with the, these two bolts, the one that we have taken from the AC compressor. We're going to line that up and we're going to put the bolts back in. Okay, go ahead and put the bracket back for the O2 sensor plug. And uh, there's our plug. Once you got the bracket on, just plug these together. So before we, so we got everything back together now. Uh, before we put the cover back on, we want to make sure it's not leaking. So I suggest that you clean it, uh, clean it as much as you can, and then uh, we'll start the vehicle and see if it leaks. So there is our uh, new pipe. Okay, we have cleaned it as much as we could. Uh, we're gonna start it now and see if it leaks. Can you go ahead, please start it? Just try to look where the gaskets are, just make sure that's where it's going to start leaking if it does. So I don't see any leak here. The second is right here. So that's still pretty bone dry. Looks like the job is done. Okay, turn it off please. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, there's no leak. We have made sure there's no leak. So we're going to go ahead and put our uh, splash guard back on. Okay, last thing, don't forget to check the oil. Remember all that oil that came out? Make sure you check the oil and uh, fill it up. And thank you for watching our channel.